Yo, 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 YouTube, 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 what's good? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Listen, man, I want to thank all y'all for coming in this thing, man. Listen, man, keep on hitting the like button for your boy. Keep commenting down below, man. I'm about to go over them comments, man, and get back to y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? My Detroit Lions, you know what I'm saying? We finally won us a playoff game. You get what I'm saying? And 31 years, so you know, your boy feeling good. I'm riding high right now, man. Riding real high, you know what I'm saying? That was that was a good, 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 good win for us, man, at home. Now we're going to have the winner out of them Bucks and uh, Philadelphia Eagles, I think. Whoever win that game got to come to Detroit. So you know what I'm saying? Your boy ready, man. The boys is ready, man. It scared me a little bit there, man. Dang, felt like Florida State versus Boston College in this thing. So anyways, anyways, I'm on some hit em up. I'm on some hit em up type stuff today, man. I'm on some, I'm, 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 you know what I'm saying, B? I'm feeling real hit em up-ish today, B. Anytime you see the pop come out, that means, it's, that, mean, that means I'm on some hit em up today, man. Anytime you see two pop come out, man, because you know what? I ain't liking this. I'm not liking what I'm seeing around this thing, man. Real quick, man. Real quick, real quick. I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it. Not one bit. On my own. Cam Ward did us dirty. Did us dirty. Did us dirty. Did us dirty. But I'm going to tell y'all one thing. By him holding out and waiting, it almost helped us out a little bit here, man. But we're going to get into that, man. You know what I'm saying? Was gonna play that hit 'em up beat for y'all, but I ain't want them to flag this video or take it down. So you know, I was gonna come in with the hit 'em up beat for y'all, but you know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. But anyway, man, listen, man. I appreciate y'all for coming in today, man. Enough of the jokes. We got uh, like I said, man. Um, we just gonna hit it off with what it is, man. Cam Ward decided not, which I know y'all probably already heard this, probably already know this. Cam Ward, you know what I'm saying, brother decided not to go to the NFL. He wanted to come back and go play for the U. For the U. For the who. For the boo. For that little trash down there in Miami that only get 10,000 kids, 10,000 fans in a stadium each game. I, don't, I still don't understand why any kid would want to go down there and play for that. You know, but it is. Hey, listen, man. I ain't going to be like them. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm going to try to I'm going to try to go high, you know what I'm saying, instead of going low cuz when they go low we really we really need to be going lower, but at the end of the day, I'm going to try to stay high, man. I'm not going to try to um go as low as them fans down there go cuz it's a lot I could talk to them off season out of season champs, you know what I'm saying? They so excited right now. They talking so much crap, bro. They just talking so much crap right now like they I'm talking about they going in on us, man, like saying, oh, um, you know, we had a chance to get them. We're hating on them because they got Cameron Ward. Look, I'm not hating. I'm not hating on that. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you my reason. You know, the only thing I can say is this. He could have went anywhere else except for our in-state rival. And for you to come take a visit with us, I know you took a visit with them first. Then you came and you, and you spoke to us. And then you come out with some little quick tweet saying, you know, hey, man, you finna go to the league. And then, you know, you must have saw that the stock wasn't that good. And then I'm quite sure that organization down there probably was hitting him up with all sorts of things, even though they don't want to say it. Oh, we playing by the same rules. Y'all got caught cheating, blah, blah, blah. Bro, we drove a kid to a meeting. We we not we not we not overpaying for kids. The same way y'all overpaid for a few kids, but I ain't going to say no names because one of them actually on our squad right now. But at the end of the day, Miami, all, you know what I'm saying? Whatever they doing down there, they doing it. Hey, kudos to them. Mario Cristobal has always been known to be an excellent recruiter. So, you know, that's one thing he does. He can do is recruit. I give him that. He can recruit and it shows he's coming down there. Miami got all sorts of talent down there, man. But listen, I don't care about that. You know why? Because I'm going to tell you, I, I gave Miami, Miami was going to be a tough game for us this year. And now they're going to be even tougher. But I'm going to tell you, you know how they say teams got talking points? And when you're in the locker room before you're about to go to that game, 
You got talking points that you got, you know, that as a coach, you go in there the whole week to get them hyped up. That's why, I, you know, hit them up was, was, was definitely valid for this conversation right here because we finna go on a roll this year. You know what I'm saying? We got some fire, you know what I'm saying, brewing. It's a lot of smoke, you know what I'm saying, which it always is. But this is even more like, bro, we waited and waited and waited. We waited and waited and waited. You know what I'm saying? And then you say you're taking your name out. We got DJU, which is fine. I'm happy because with DJU going to come other other gifts. Watch what I tell you. Because I'm like I told you, I used to I used to be out there, you know what I'm saying, um, on the West Coast. And I dealt with the Polynesian, um, you know, uh, culture and the kids and, and, and the players out there, man, when I was playing football. And when they when one come, they all come. And I'm, I don't know what it is. But yeah, I went to a school up in Utah called it was Dixie University. And when I tell you that man, when one come, they all come, they coming. So don't worry about that. I think that opened up a nice little pipeline for us by us getting DJU, man. I'm telling you, that's that's real. That's a real statement. But at the end of the day, look, by by him signing with them, that opened up a whole bunch of stuff now. We got things when we go into this locker room. We're going to be able to talk about this. We're going to be able to say, hey, this dude did this, this, this. Let's go show him why he should have chose Florida State. And let's hit him up. And I guarantee you, it's going to be a target on that brother's head. It's going to be a target on him. We're going to come out there, and our whole mission is going to be to show him why he should have chose Florida State. So with that being said, it's going to be a tough game. I got Miami being pretty good next year, man. I already was liking Poffinbanger or Bonger, whatever his name is, because Miami got so much. They got a great line. The D line is 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 pretty good. Um, I, they need help in the secondary. The linebackers is okay, but they they got a decent team, man. They O line is pretty good. They I love their running back. Now they got a quarterback. Um, if they can get them another receiver, and I love Restrepo, so they can get them a another like a big fast receiver. Man, look out. Miami, Miami gonna be a Miami, that game gonna be, that's gonna be a game. That's gonna be a game. And then you know what? I can't wait to see it. But the but the biggest thing gonna be when we come out of there with that victory. You know what I'm saying? What Jameis Winston did, taste this, what that is, taste that W. You know what I'm saying? Cause when we do it then, we do it big then. So I hope, man, Florida State, we going to that thing, man, because we play Miami at their home. I hope we go down there, man, and we, man, we talking about an air raid. We're going to show them what an air raid is. We're going to show them how we, 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 hopefully we get about three picks off this dude. Because one thing about it, he's prone for turnovers. He fumbles the ball a lot. He can throw picks a lot. So you know what? I'm glad he down there. I'm glad he down there because he do, they say that he throw a few picks, you know what I'm saying? He might give you the ball a few times a game. So you know what? Let's go down there, man. Let's show them boys what time it is. But I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you a good thing that came out of that. I'm going to tell you a good thing that came out of him holding off is Jeremiah Smith. If he would have probably known that they had Cam Ward coming, I feel like even if we would have had, I don't even know, because they say in the end we weren't even in Jeremiah Smith top three. But the end of the day, I think if, if they would have got Cam Ward signed before Jeremiah Smith made his decision to go to Ohio State, I think that Jeremiah Smith, he probably would have been at Miami. And that, you know what I'm saying? Because he did have a Miami hat in there. But I don't think he knew, you know, what quarterback was going to be there. And maybe Ohio State already was telling him, bro, we getting this dude from Kansas. Or we will be getting Cam War. You know, even though Cam said he wasn't doing that at the time, I feel like he knew something with them and he didn't know nothing with Miami. And I just think that if Cam Ward would have came out and said, hey, I'm going to Miami. I think Jeremiah Smith would have been in Miami. That would have been big time. That would have been detriment. That would have been, that would have been crazy. It would have been crazy for Florida State, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Cause that would have, cause that dude gonna play his first year. Jeremiah Smith gonna get on that field his first year. And with him and Restrepo and say they got another guy, bro, that could have been some craziness with that array. And, you know, just with Cam Ward back there, period. So I think that's I think that I think that kind of you know what I'm saying kind of even though he signed with them I think him waiting so long it kind of hurt them in getting some players you know what I'm saying because a lot of people probably would have still wanted to go um, to Miami if they knew that they was getting Cam Ward 
But enough about Cam Ward, man. All jokes aside, Cam Ward is, is a great player. Um, he gonna do Miami some some good, man. And like I said, it's that's gonna be that's gonna be a good game. That's gonna be a good game. But I think that we got the you know the defense and the, and the personnel to to get that stop, man. I think that we all think that the mask was a good idea. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I do think that uh, Cam Ward is uh, going to go down there, play pretty good for them. Um, it's the perfect offense for him. So that's going to be good, man. Like I said, it's going to be a hard game. I'm ready, to, I'm ready to watch that game right now, man. So that's going to be a game. But on other news, man, get off them bums. Um, you know, we did also uh, get, uh, you know, Roydell uh, Williams, 5'10", 215-pound running back, I want to say. Um, dude looks pretty good, man. Out of, uh, Alec, another dude from Alabama was in the SEC. Um, you know, even though I hate on the SEC a lot, they do got the talent, man. The SEC definitely has the talent and you can't deny that. You can't deny where the talent lies. Not saying that it's not in the ACC or the Big Ten, but the SEC consistently gets great players. So he was a, he was a dude that Alabama did not want to let go. They didn't want to see that dude go. Um, mainly because of, you know, his, um, you know, his, his, his matureness, you know, how long he's been there. He knows the system and he's a hard nosed running back, dude. He reminds me of Cadillac Williams. If y'all remember that running back that played for Auburn, then I want to say he went to the Bucks. He reminds me a lot, man. He kind of reminds me of a Cadillac Williams, man. Not too big, but kind of, you know, short in stature, but run hard. You know what I'm saying? Like that 210, 215. In between there, you know what I'm saying? But can run hard. So he reminds me of Cadillac Williams. Um, I think he's going to be a great addition uh, with the line that we got coming in this year, man. Um, I think that's going to I think that's gonna be pretty good, man. Like getting him was a big deal, man. We needed him. We needed him. Even though LT, you know what I'm saying? That's my, that's my, that's my, that's my, uh, you know, LT is my high school alumni. We, we both, me and LT, we went to the same high school. I was there way before him, but my name in that gym too. My name up in that gym. You know what I'm saying? The end of the day, uh, yeah, I like LT, but I think they, I think they want to use LT for everything they can use him for. Cause LT, he, he, a, he a beast of a player, bro. He just not a running back. He a receiver. He a running back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He a wildcat back. Man can do it all. So. You just don't want to limit LT to just getting snaps in the backfield. You want to be able to do reverses, hitches, all that stuff. I, I feel like LT need to get the ball actually more than what they was giving it to him last year. I think that he definitely needs the ball a lot more, man. That dude is a game changer, man. He a game changer. So um, I, I like where we at, man, in the backfield. I love that. Um, definitely just need some linebackers, bro. We got to get us some linebackers. If it's the last thing we do, we need at least one linebacker, man. Um, we get us a great linebacker and probably another D tackle, man. I think that Florida State will be good to go. Um, you know, uh, even though they trying to say that they ain't worrying about us, so we ain't, we can't, you know, we ain't gonna do nothing. They just, hey, look, they can be the off season champs all they want. You know what I'm saying? We how long? How many times have we heard this every year? Every year. I think when they go into to the swamp, they are gonna see what that what that type of ball is. I I guarantee you, I think Sunshine Billy and them gonna get them a loss, only because Sunshine Billy he got his back against the wall. So when Miami go down in there to the swamp, you know what I'm saying? Because they got an easy schedule besides the Gators and us. They got a real easy schedule besides the Gators and us. So I think when they go down there to that swamp or up there to that swamp. It's going, they're going to be in for a rude awakening, man. Um, don't sleep on the Gators. They're not, they not a bad team, bro. You know what I'm saying? The Gators are not a bad team. And they, like I say, they're going to be, they're going to get their behinds. They're going to be, this is going to be a, a bad year for them, though, man. I, I, golly, I feel bad for them Gators, bro. It's going to be a terrible year for you Gator fans. I mean, it was a terrible year last year. It ain't been too good for y'all. No way. But at the end of the day, Y'all, oh my gosh, y'all schedule is just kind of just gory, man. It's gory. If you had a great team, it would be fun. I know for a player, I would want to play against all that good talent just to show what I can do. I always love playing against the big wigs just to see what we can do, man. 
You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't running from no competition. And I think a lot of players, they, they, they don't want an easy schedule like that. But Miami, they got an easy schedule, bro. They got the Gators and us, I think, is probably their hardest teams. And the only reason I'm saying the Gators is because they're an SEC team and they got to go to the Swamp. So now they get to see when they was talking trash about how we barely beat the Gators in the Swamp. They get to go to that Swamp and see what it's like to go play in the Swamp. You know what I'm saying? So, um... And I know they've been there before, but it's been a while. So now Miami get to go. They get to go see what it's like to go play in that swamp. And I'm telling you, it's going. it ain't going to be no easy game for them. It ain't going to be an easy game for them. But then after that, Miami, they got all these easy teams, bro, that they got coming to their house. And you know they don't sell out. So for all them, all them, all them Miami kids that y'all wanted to stay there and go to that crap, that's on y'all, bro. You know, much luck to you because you get to go play in front of 10,000 people. The only time that stadium going to get sold out is when the state come. You know what I'm saying? When the capital come. Call us the capital. Big brother. Big brother over here. Big bro. You know what I'm saying? When big bro come into town, that's when y'all gonna sell out, man. We sold out dang near every game last year. And them kids came and saw what a real college atmosphere was. But yet still, they want to go sign with Miami. 10, I'm, bro, 10,000 10, fans in a stadium is mad crazy, son. 10,000 fans in the stadium is wow. That's wow. You know what I'm saying? And for y'all to go there and see that and still want to go there and play, it's beyond me. It's beyond me. Nobody coming to them games, man. Y'all ain't playing nobody, bro. Look, y'all y'all playing probably Bethune-Cookman. Let me pull up these trash can schedules, man. This is, this is straight. If if I ain't... if, if Look, they, they already got on here to buy tickets. Three... You get three tickets for the price of one. And they saying right now, um, if you if you buy your tickets early, and this is what I'm hearing. I don't know. They saying right now, if you buy your tickets early um, uh, at, at the Miami home games against the, let me see here, against the Florida A&M Rattlers, which is FAMU, they said for if you pay an extra $10, you can actually go on the field and Mario will allow you to call a play. So if y'all want, go ahead now. If you just want to go down there and call some dumb trickery, you can pay an extra $10 on top of your ticket, and then Mario will allow you to go on the field and call a play. So, you know, I think it's worth it. And you get three free tickets for the admission of one. So three, three free tickets for the admission of one. You pay an extra $10, and then you can actually get on the field and call a play. And they were saying... um, you know, for an extra five dollars, you can also you can also for an extra five dollars slap Mario in his face. But I mean, hey, who wants to do that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, it's just messing with y'all. But look, this is their schedule, bro. They got the Gators. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who knows what that's gonna look like? I still think the Gators gonna beat them because Sunshine Billy is. <laughs> He got to win. So hey, it's a difference when you got to win and you expect it to win. When you got to win, he could lose that game. That'd be it for him. If Sunshine Billy comes out and loses that first game to the Gators, you might as well go ahead and start seeing the exodus. Exodus. Movement of your people. So anyway, you're going to see that uh, game. I think the Gators going to get them. Florida A&M. Trash. Ball State Univers Ball State Cardinals trash. The USF Bulls, hey man, I love my USF Bulls. I was getting recruited by them. There's no hate in my heart for them guys, but no. Cal, the Golden Bears of California, Georgia Tech, Louisville, Louisville. They losing a lot. Louisville could be good though. I ain't gonna lie, Louisville. Louisville could be still decent. That's, you know, remains to be seen. Duke, who knows? Then they got Florida State. Now, those, like, Louisville-Duke game, those is, like, trap games for them. You know what I'm saying? Because they thinking, oh, yeah, high and mighty. So, say they come out, they undefeated. Look, and listen, this is what's going to happen with these clowns. Say they do beat the Gators and they go on this run. What, that's one, two, three. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Say they go on a six-game winning streak. They 6-0. and You know what I'm saying? They 6-0. and Now you know you're going to be hearing all of this Heisman hype. Cam Ward for Heisman. 
Uh, Miami's back. The U is back. You know what I'm saying? And then they're going to go have to play Louisville at Louisville and watch that be a trap game for them because why? They can't coach. They got all that talent, but they can't coach. That can be a trap game for them. Louisville probably bust their heads open. Then they got Duke. They might come back, beat Duke. We'll see how Duke is, you know, because they, you know, they never recruiting on a high level. So depends on how they did in this transfer portal. Duke could still be a team that was pretty good. You know, if we ain't hurt their quarterback, they probably would have still been decent. Anyway, they get Duke. That could be a, another game that they probably going to win. Then they play us. Now they're going to play, they're going to step up to play us. Like they always do, like every team do. Because every team mad that we used to run their behinds in the 90s, early two, you know what I'm saying? So they they still mad about that. So when they see Florida State, no matter who we play, I feel like teams just always play up to us. Like they always get ready for Florida State for whatever reason. Even when we down, it's like, oh yeah, we beat them. And bro, we won in nine, man. Y'all beat us. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, they got us. Then they get Virginia Tech. Come on. Wake Forest will be garbage next year. And then they got Syracuse. That's really, to be honest with you, bro, Miami could run the table. I mean, you know, it's a possibility they could do something with us. They could run their table next year, be undefeated, going into the playoffs or going into the ACC title game because they don't have to play Clemson. They don't play UNC this year. They don't play NC State, which NC State is going to have a decent team. Louisville might still be good. I'm not sure what they got going on, but they got great coaching. So Louisville still going to be good, but it's a chance you're going to hear. Listen, I'm just trying to prepare y'all for what's coming, man. You know how they fans are. They're going to be six or seven and oh, or even undefeated coming into our game. So just get ready for them. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all all got Miami Hurricane buddies. You know, I do. Just get ready for them. Get ready for them. And, you know, just know that this is what we finna have to put up with all next year with them. And it, and it don't matter who they play. They could go play Cerritos Community College, man. And you're going to hear about how great they are and how raw, how good Cam Ward is. He threw for 600 yards and seven touchdowns against Cerrito College. Cerritos College. You know what I'm saying? And they'll be happy with that. They will be bragging like they just won the national title, bro. Trust me, I know. I, I hear this stuff all the time from these clowns. So just get ready for it. But one thing we got to do, we got to show up to that game. It's going to be sold out. But like I said, when you look at all these games they got at their own at their own stadium, the, the Florida A&M, no sellout. Ball State will not be sold out. <laughs> They'll probably be giving free tickets away when they go play USF for the Bulls at Raymond James Stadium. Uh, okay, then they on the road for a while. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, then they got Duke, not going to sell out. Florida State will be the only sold-out state uh, game. Virginia Tech might travel well, so that game could be sold out. Wake Forest, no sellout. So they might have one. They're going to have one sellout, maybe two. That's it. So, you know, for those recruits that want to go to Miami, much respect to you because you're clearly going there because you must just love wearing that orange and orange and green or whatever color they y'all you know that's the only thing that's the only way that's the only thing i see y'all going down there for and, and maybe somebody giving y'all unheard of sums of money so other than that um i ain't got nothing else for y'all today man i'm done hit him up we coming for you we're gonna try to knock this dude head off because he left us hanging you know what i'm saying much respect to him but hey now you gotta now you gotta go against them boys you know what i'm saying now you gotta go against them boys but anyway, man, y'all have a blessed Monday, man. Happy MLK Day. Y'all wish I was home in my hood in St. Petersburg, Florida, because I know y'all turning up down there today, man. They probably out there right now on 9th Street. But anyway, man, as always, go nose. Go nose.